Uh, who is this? Well, you're not from our study group, are you? No, my studies are private. But these missing spell parchments, can we share? Oh, I'll come along then, private schoolboy. Perhaps it would be more courteous of me to leave you two alone. What? Why? For what reason? I hardly know this cleaner. But I thought... My apologies. I've misunderstood something. That is so odd. You're not the first to say that. You had a dream with the maize and peacocks. An odd coincidence, since that describes my home. Oh, that explains it. I had a dream about your future, not mine. I sometimes get glimpses of the future. So, I'll get to go back home soon. Oh, if I could go back home soon too. It seems we have something in common. Can you see everyone's future? It's hard to say, since I can't define which vision belongs to who. And it's rarely accurate. More like a possibility. Like the other year, I had a dream of someone falling in love with me at the Academy. And that never happened. <laughs> My time at the Astral Academy would have been much better if I'd been able to take classes with the other students. Hmm... Too bad about your strange condition that makes you a dungeon hermit. Is it a disease? A bad rash? It's, um, magical in nature. Wait, I sense... Oh, a sinister premonition. A dark shadow. It's near. Very near. I'm sure it's nothing. Celius, what's inside you? What? Did you just say something? My mind was wandering. Celius, you should leave Gislam B after we complete our spellbooks. I don't trust you. I'm afraid Nim's right to be suspicious. I sense something quite wrong with you. You don't need to worry. I'll be gone as soon as we're done. Nim, I'm surprised you've become so talkative towards the end of this journey. I, uh, dislike talking without good reason to. A very sensible attitude. Most people prattle on about silly nothings. It gives me a headache. And now back to the Academy. So I can leave you two prattling in peace. <laughs>